I know you had a meeting. I mentioned at the open of the show that some members of Congress are meeting with hostage families today. So let me start there because I think there is a lot of pressure on this president, particularly with the way he's been um, criticized by some for his handling of the war in Gaza, where foreign policy will be front and center, right, uh, tomorrow night. What did you pick up from meeting with these hostage families, if anything, today about how they feel about President Biden? Yeah, you know, it's terribly sad. Uh, these are mostly parents whose children are, are still being held hostage by Hamas in, in Gaza. Uh, 152 days, uh, most likely in tunnels uh, without uh, the kind of food or medicine that they need. And, and, and they don't really know uh, the status of their loved ones. And, you know, in in previous situations where there there have been Americans uh, being held hostage, that that's like that would be the only headline. And mm -hmm. so, their frustration is in large part that the, the 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 conversation, the coverage has not included their loved ones and the fact that Americans are being held hostage. What they want more than anything is for Hamas to agree to this ceasefire, uh, so that their family members can come home. And ultimately, the humanitarian crisis uh, can uh, begin to end uh, with more and more food and, and medicine getting into Gaza. Well, it's interesting. I think to the point you're making that the, the pressure that I alluded to on the president now is coming from the left, right, at your party. And we saw that a little bit in some of the states and the primaries and the uncommitted vote and all that kind of thing. There are a lot of young people that are unhappy with the way he's handled the war. And maybe they push him to go in one direction. I wonder if these people are worried that he maybe goes too far away from his support for Israel and how that might affect their loved ones. Did you guys talk about that at all? Or? Yeah, no, I think the, uh, there's a genuine appreciation for what the administration has done uh, to try to get these hostages home, uh, what they have done to get some of the American hostages and the other hostages home, but the American hostages uh, in particular. Uh, but, you know, what... I got from them is the same thing I got when I was in the Middle East uh, a couple weeks ago, meeting with the Egyptians and the Jordanians and the Israelis. They're all on the same page in terms of being done with Hamas, uh, uh, needing Hamas to accept uh, this ceasefire uh, or some ceasefire, what, uh, a, a reasonable, uh, you know, uh, response. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's terribly frustrating that everyone else is ready for this uh, to end temporarily. Uh, and ultimately permanently, but Hamas is still holding on to these hostages, uh, and Iran continues to help them and Hezbollah, uh, and, and, and there isn't the kind of international pressure on Iran, uh, Hamas, Hezbollah, uh, that, that could end this. Well, the kind of international pressure maybe that's, uh, that Israel's feeling uh, right now, uh, again, you, you have some in your party, many in the Democratic Party, who are saying, we should rethink, and not just people way on the left, people maybe closer to the center like yourself, saying we, maybe we should rethink our support for Israel if they don't rethink the way they're handling the war. In other words, if they don't change course, maybe we shouldn't keep sending them weapons and money. What do you say to that? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, the, there have been a, a few things. Uh, one is uh, the need to be more surgical in their, uh, their approach to getting uh, Hamas, uh, those responsible for the, the, the horrific attack on October 7th. Right. Uh, they've, uh, they've been more surgical. Uh, the need to uh, pump up, uh, amp up uh, humanitarian aid, that's happening, mm -hmm. uh, but not quickly enough. And part of the issue or the large uh, largest issue is in Gaza and the fact that until there is a ceasefire, which is now on right. Hamas, it's going to be very difficult to get the aid to the people. Where do, can I just uh, ask you about the so, use of the? Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, Congressman. Yeah. The use of the word surgical. You say they are, they are right. being more surgical. Where do you see evidence of that? Where, where do you see changes yeah. being made? So, uh, in uh, most of what's happened in the last month or so, you're seeing uh, uh, you know, mostly those who have uh, lost their lives. These are more and more uh, just Hamas fighters, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, unfortunately, there are still innocent uh, civilians uh, who are, uh, you know, um, who are killed in these attacks. But uh, the you know, the, 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 the number of Hamas fighters being killed relative to civilians has, has gone up significantly. You're seeing that. Uh, but it's, it's too much. I mean, right. you know, don't no, get no, me get wrong. Right. Uh, everyone wants to see this, this end. 
Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.